Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Dobell campaign. We pick things up for episode 12 from turn 76 in the harvest season of 205. So, uh, as we get back into things, we just taken none, and we do plan to give it to uh, Cao Ren very, very soon. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that, and first things first, I'm going to get a deal with Liu Bei. And we just want some sort of time deal because we're waiting for that opportunity to, um, you know, vassalize him or we annex him. He's already vassalized. We will give him payment. Something small. Oh, there we go. We get one point at seven. Then seven it is. Ten turns of seven proper turn. Hopefully he will stay with us for that 10 turns and let Zhuge Liang spawn. Alright, just a little incentive and also for us to keep track. Alright, we got a bunch of characters that are largely useless. Um, I am going to give this away, but first, can we pop into the river? We cannot pop onto land after that. We are going to need to do some administrative shuffling if we want to pull this off, which means one of them has to come out. So Yu Zhang is the one that's not useful, although I'm kind of worried about her satisfaction if I do pull her. Hmm. He's pretty good. Well, I think what we will do is just pull her. I think it'd be okay. 94 is high enough. We'll throw her back in next turn. So just remove from office. And we'll double check her happiness. We have way too many characters at court, by the way, but that should be okay. Okay, 38. She's hanging in there. We'll throw her back in very soon. Uh, we're going to give up on Taurian. We'll not give up. We'll give him land. We don't need him in our court. Um, he has fondness for us. And he has pretty decent personality. Dutiful. I hope his uh, leadership personality won't be too bad. Let's throw him in here. And we will give him independence. He's married. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I cannot grant him independence. Why is that? I also can't do it to him, but I can do it to Chen Pu. Huh, that is very interesting. What's preventing this? See, he's not married. It's not a marriage issue. He's not a bandit. Not a bandit subculture issue. Huh. That is weird. It's also not a capital issue. I mean, I understand Changsha can't be given away, right? So he's a capital issue. But Taurin is some other issue. Like, even if he's part of a ruling family, is it because he's part of a foreign ruling family? So, if, let's say, we set up Taurin with our daughter, like, we force a divorce, right? And that's, that's a joke. That's not actually going to happen. But now he's single. But he's part of a foreign family? We're ready to give our daughter to Gunning. I mean, I could adopt him. It'd be really weird. Oh. So this might not work. <laughs> okay.
Zahara's not going to get this. That's very unfortunate. He's also not going to be very happy about this, but I do want to give it away. Hmm. I can give it away to my own daughter, who, despite all her great traits, I'm really never going to use. She and Gan Ying can still have kids. Okay, I guess there goes our daughter. She is she on assignment? She is. Okay, we have to pull that off next turn then. Hmm, strange. All right, we'll test that out. Shit, we can come back in here and get the heal this turn. All right, elsewhere, we're also trying to heal up over here. Not really going to build anything. Both armies have moved. None is just going to stay put. We're going to give it away just like this. Rebellion's imminent. Um, it's because of population. Nothing we can really do about this. We're just going to farm those when they come. Poyang. It's probably not going to go tall for a while. We can't afford the food. And these are pretty stable. Okay, I think we're happy with where we are. It's time for him to see if he can assassinate himself. He cannot. Okay, that's that makes good sense. Which means I don't know what to do with him. I'm wondering what happens to a one faction... Well, one county faction when you instigate a civil war. So let's find out. Okay, so he's the separatist, I believe, as this went to Shi Sun Wei. And he's just alone with the army. Poor guy. Okay, so we just crush him. Well, he's trusting. Ooh, we switched the person to a trusting, you say? We can't vassalize a civil war until the civil war ends. Um, but that gives us ideas. Mm, it's much easier if we just wipe them out and give it to our daughter. Uh, about him, I think maybe it's time to start a third army. We have plenty of choices here. I prefer to use my own generals, so Huang Zhong is top pick, and then we're looking for a suitable strategist, and then realize we don't have many suitable strategists. Uh, the administrator that we summon back could work. We could summon her into an army and let her be an army officer and administrator, or... Hmm, Kuai Yue is not that interesting. We'll throw Gunning out there. Hmm, should we just allow a rivalry? Because Chen Gong will be the most interesting. Because Huang Zhong's not going to be here forever. Yeah, a little rivalry never hurt anyone. We have the satisfaction to take care of it. And that finished one of the missions. And we're going to pump out an actual army here now that we have 27k sitting around. Gan Ning would definitely be a cavalry officer. Mm, actually, yeah, you can hold on to that. It's fine. When Suryan comes of age very, very soon, actually, we'll pass it on again. He is not an administrator. This is rather wasteful. Okay, so we are going to go heavy range. The question is, who's going to go frontline for us? Hmm. 
can't go heavy range with this army composition. Right, we don't need a vanguard if we're going to go heavy range. That's fine. Um, we are going to go with our faction unique units. Huang uh, Zhong. And we'll just use him as a passive boost. So these are available once you hit rank 6. He's not there yet. Um, we're just going to go with all calves and the standard stuff. Does he have... Yeah, he does have fire arrows. So archers would be it. Alright, we'll let this army rest up. Probably want someone with flexibility to lead. We don't have it. We do have reach here. So I guess Cheng Gong will lead this for now. Alright, this also want to see someone summoned. We don't have seasonal deployment limit, unfortunately. Alright, so that's the best we can do here. Harvest season, court has an empty position. Yeah, sure. I think we're fine. Let's continue. Alrighty. That doesn't concern us. We'll let the Separatists fight it out. Uh, he's the only one who left. Alright, this needs to die. But I think the whole pool, a thief. Uh, the whole purpose is have this army go crush them. So we can wait a few turns. Let them launch attack from here. We can wait it out, let them finish their fight. It's gonna be our daughter. We can't give this away either. It's gotta be the commandery then, it's not the generals. Huh. That is very strange. In that case, we're going to do something else here. We're going to get our daughter out because she's Gunning's wife. And there's a family bonus here. Gunning will lead. No reach, it's okay. Gonna slow us, us down and also waste a bit of money, but I think ultimately this will be slightly better. Guess we get to keep her now. Fire arrows, but no flaming shot. Uh, be a little happier for us. Because you're about to get fired. So we just can't give Nanjun away for some reason. Then we trade it to him, I guess. We finish the rebellion off and then we trade it to them and try to vassalize them because they're trusting. I can't do much with him anymore. I can mess him up a little, attack his own army supplies, and then just disown him. All right, we finally can see other spies. Been waiting for this day. And the faction that we're going to try to work on... We can start with Guo Niu Wang and Liu Chong's faction, because uh, Luo Jun's here. A very happy Luo Jun. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I wouldn't mind stealing Guo Niu on by herself. Talpi's future wife. Let's first even out the points. Plus 14. Wow, what a defense there. Okay, we'll wait a while for the points then. We'll see who wins here. We're resting up over here. Although we do want to break through over here. So right now we're just taking the mustering... We'll finish one of the missions here. Wait, is it in Tribi though? Yep. Sun Quan, have a look. And you're good to go. Alright, we're gonna wait another turn here. They'll take care of that. I can't give this away, that is so weird. 
Anyways, we'll give it to Shi Sun Wei if we have to, and then we'll try Taoran again in Xiangyang. Maybe it's not Taoran's problem, maybe it's Nanjun's problem. Maybe it also has to do something with them owning it? Oh, I'm so stupid. I know why. I figured it out. Because Nanjun already exists. So Taoran can be given away. If we kill them. Here, you stay here for now. And uh, once this army clears them up, we'll be able to give it away. So that works. That's the problem. All right, everything's max build. You do your job. Guan Ning, not interested. Uh, for a second there, I thought Huatu was coming back around. Nope, nothing new. Let's continue. Alright, Gong Sunzan requires Zhang Yan to join the war against Yuan Shu. Good. Oh, he got wiped. Poor boy. Alright, now we're just going to declare war on them and wipe them out too. And then give it to uh, Cao Ren because I know we can do that. So... We're going to lose some mustering, 33% one turn, we're 44 health, 33% would be around 14-ish. That push us close to 40, so we're not going to be full heal, but we're going to move anyways. Yeah, it'll be two turns, it's close. 31%, uh, because 2% from being in the settlement. We can declare war on you, right? No punishment? You guys are a different faction technically, aren't you? Yep. Oh, we got ourselves into the alliance war or coalition war. So how many people joined? Nobody joined. They didn't join. They requested help and be like, nope. Oh no, they did. Wait, how come I don't see it? It's a lie. We're not in a war. They didn't say yes to it. He requested, it just didn't work. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, we'll drag him in. If he wants to reinforce, he can. I am not taking high casualties. We'll be wiping this out, making sure we not do night battle. Make sure we chase them until they all die. Does he have any good items? No. All right, let's start the battle. Alrighty, so we're on nice wintry map. Uh, the reinforcement coming from over there. We're gonna try to inch towards them. Um, this is a pretty range-heavy army, to be honest. You see, no cavalry. It's kind of the trick to do that, um, which I have to argue might not be worth, given how good our cavalrys are with Sun Tzu as our heir. And that might change, actually. If we ever get... Actually, there's no cavalry on the other side. At least not in the main army that we're facing off here. If we ever get Liu Bei, maybe he will be heir. Makes more sense for Liu Bei to leave it to him than to Sun Tzu, even though everyone likes Sun Tzu. Let's go... Sun Tzu can be Liu Bei's heir. Uh, brother situation? Brother-in-law, perhaps? We can set up the story of marriage. Alright, come on. Where are the enemies? They don't see us, we don't see them. Alright. Go scout. Actually, no, you're slow. You're fast. 97 speed. Ah, there they are. We'll snipe her. Nobody escapes this battle. Oh, she can block arrows. 30 seconds. Where's the rest of the units? Uh oh. Alright, her block arrow's gone. Now we kill her. One more shot. One more shot. Oh my gosh, she ran away.
Usa's strategy just can't be deadly. Oh. Oh. Run. Ah, here they come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This angle is not friendly. See where you guys are firing at. Okay, firing out. Good. Get out, use some charge speed. Him. Nijang Yibai Tudi, Bing Bay Tudi Yuan. Juko. Ah, there's no need. Oh, I'm getting shot. It's hard to close the distance in the snow. We're going to lose a lot of men this way, but oh well. Charge this one. I barely get any real charge damage, but okay, we'll take it. Actually, no, you chase them. Yeah, we're probably not going to get to clean them out. We'll just take the win. It's okay. We'll clean them out next turn. Alrighty. We caught her. Ah, uh, not interested. Level up. Okay. I mean, this army is already pretty high level. Yeah, he's still alive. Oh, two level up. Level seven. We'll just take the extra range damage. Same thing here. Yep, he's still alive. Do you want to peace out now? Yes, he does. Now, what do you have? Mm, money? He's not going to be alive for many turns, so the per turn payment 
I'm actually not so keen about. Not a lot here. Actually, it's very little. Let me see. If I can get him alive for... I mean, it's about even, right? Let me gamble on a portion of it. Let's go... 300. See, that's very positive. 1,200. Yeah, at this point, it's just better take this gamble here. And hope that he survives for like 5-6 turns, pay us this, then the total amount even out about the same. Alright. That's done. All right, we can just wipe him out, and then we can give it to Cao Ren over here. We'll take the rest of Ba Dong, get a chance to capture Xu Huang and Yang Feng, who are both very useful. Uh, can we see his background bonus? Nope, but uh, I think there's a 10% revenue discount in there, and we'll try to get that. We're ready to go. Cao Cao's on the run. He doesn't have any good generals left, that's the thing. So it's not like... Oh. I take it back. Talpi's on the map. Talpi's heir, though. I don't think he'll join us. Like, Xun Yu, Xun Yu is pretty much the only one that we can possibly get. But we're gonna smash through them just to get to Danyang. Alright, that's the plan. Everything is good to go. What are we missing? Because next turn is the turn. Cha Lin, so T. Temple is probably not possible. It's not bad. Oh, you know what? Temple is possible. Temple, and then the T, we can easily send someone here. Sightseeing Sun Quan. Alright. Now we're good to go. Uh, let's continue. Yuan Shao wants to trade. Huh. How did we open up a trade? Did we trade with them before? Who likes this? Only he likes this. Then we'll trade with our new vassal. Nope. Okay. Again, Sal Sal, this is our mercenary contract at work. Temple's done. New weapon, please be gold. Nope. Let's just get this done while we remember it. This is never going to happen. So let's invoke a new one, abort that one. Land development, we can definitely do that. I don't know we can do that. Tax collection, it's possible. Raise a force, raise a force, those are both pretty easy. Alright, time to wipe them out. I think this is just going to be a delegate battle. Right? Valent defeat. Pyrrhic victory. Seriously? Hold on. I would need to switch commanders because I do want to capture the girl there. The thief. This character. Will we fight this for decisive or at least costly to improve the odds? It's not even showing odds because it thinks we'll lose beforehand. But anyways, let's go. Alrighty, so I actually suspect they will charge out at us. I'm not gonna move. We don't have flaming shots. Uh, we do have fire arrows though, so those would help in case we need to burn down some towers. I am just gonna gamble and stay put. And if they do charge out, we'll take some casualties. Not Pyrrhic level, Pyrrhic victory level of casualties, but something reasonable. Oh yeah, hail of arrows, forgot about that. Warning shot. Good luck, my friends. Um, no dueling, just because we got such good abilities. I can't see them because of the way it dips, but we can test it out. Get a couple shot down. See what happens down there. Fire, fire, fire. All right, let's see. We see the casualty number. Zero? Oh, okay. One. 
Two. Two. Were there no units there? I mean, maybe if we bash down the towers, Ganin can go do some magic with his hail barrels. I know it's better if we do the fire arrow stuff. But it seems like they're not marching out. And these shots don't kill many people. Hey, the splash damage from trying to kill a tower killed the 11. He's still at 1. We probably have to knock this one out too, if not that one. Not the best entrance, I have to say, but it will have to do. We have plenty of ammo. We kill more people? Oh my god, this guy has no kills. Oh, he finally missed in the right spot and got 10 kills. This one might be a hard tower to take down. Yep, yeah, it's all those bamboos. It's also kind of far. Oh, we're just with. Ah, oh, finally got a shot on it. Come on, one more of those. Leave in the last shot. Nope. Come on, we got we got enough ammo for one. We got it. Okay, there we go. All right, if we just be careful of this one and inch this way, we should get a clean look at the enemy camp. Oh yeah, they barely put any. Ooh, ooh, I lied, I lied. They put units here. Let's go slow. We want to be at a nice distance where they won't charge out, but we can still get a pretty nice volley. Onto the generals. They're not actually charging out, they're just dodging. 44. Yeah, definitely L damage both tributaries. Our job is just to snipe the generals away, because um, that would be a morale shock for the enemy. Let's go a little closer. Obviously, the closer we are, the easier this is. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, we also have a bow. Uh, but I want to kill some of the units too, so we'll use these first. Alright, she's done. Sniper? Not when she's running away, I guess. Like this would be a good target to snipe. Wait, are we hitting her or are we hitting the unit? Oh, we're hitting her, okay. He still has a lot of health. He'll bounce back. Take the morale point. She bounced back. Mm, but she's not coming towards us. I mean, once you lose these 10 morales, then I guess she will be down too. Alright, we got one more general with a bow.
You don't have poison volley. I don't really need you then. She has resiliency, don't worry. See, he has seven morale, say goodbye. Warning shots. Hmm? There we go, fired it. It, it, it missed him. It missed him. What? Three hundred range gold bow. Oh. Pierces three people per shot. Wow. It's just the damage figure is higher than per unit health, so multiple units are dying. The captain. You ready to brace on us? I mean, he has 19 morale. Not routed him with an arrow. Now we hit him a couple times. Fire! Charge! Roar! The morale damage. The archery. This should be over. And they thought this was going to be a Valen defeat or a Pyrrhic victory. They haven't heard about our two generals. Oh, we got one guy trying to resist. Oh, we give him a warning shot. And then we charge. It didn't work. Are we getting blocked on those shots? We're getting in a fight. Oh, we're getting shot by the towers. We have ammo, right? Yeah, four ammo. Let's shoot him. Not firing. Firing a will. What a mess. Die. There we go. I'm back here. Can't let the old man do all the work. There we go. Garrison wipe. Good job, boys. Alrighty. Yeah, two versus 2,000. Definitely decisive victory. That should be the best odds of capturing people, but they didn't want to get captured. Alright, Torrent, you get to have your own commandery. I don't think we're going to be attacking them anytime soon. As a matter of fact, I don't even think I'm going to be expanding this way anytime soon. I think our next expansion target is over here, so I think both army can hop into the river. I'll give this for the frontline units. It's a long ride. We can do this on March. Or turn still. Now, with Nanjun's flag gone, Taurian can have his own flag. There we go. See? 
the shared flag asset. So we created a none before, so we can't create a new one. Balanced, we'll take that. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, I'll promise you all the good stuff eventually, but we'll try to do this where the points are balanced out. Um, we have cash. We have endless amount of cash. You might think us giving him 4,000 is a bad deal and giving him... He gets 900 for the trade and he's going to give us some of that back for his per turn. Also going to get this from us and we're going to give this from... Oh, he didn't start out with a stone pig. Wait, that's a first. No stone pig. Huh. Well, maybe give us a little bit of that money back. Because 15 points is all we want to do here. Wait, wait, what are we doing? Oh, we had it. There we go. We'll take that. Plus 110. Wow. Great. Beautiful. Nobody's is like, wait, he's giving guarantees of autonomy to everyone except for us. I wonder what that could mean. Um, so both of our armies will shift towards here. We're going to wrap up the Danyang battlefield area. Um, we still need this. Hao Cao's back. We have another shot to capture. We take it. Night battle. Uh, I still think we'll lose, so it's not giving us the, the odds of the capture. But I'm sure it's there. Garrison's huge. Let's go. Alrighty. Um, they're pretty lucky it's raining. Um, there's a nice area here that we can fight at. There's one flank we don't have to worry about. I'm um, probably not going to do fire shots then. Might still be a heavy cavalry battle. We might want to just pull up, actually. I think they might charge out, but even in that case, the closer we are to this ledge, the less likely we get flank from one side. So it's actually probably best we do something like this. And then we just assume that they will charge out. And then they can counter charge anything coming from the right. Which some will, because I'm pretty sure they'll put some units on that side as well. Are you guys coming out? No. Okay, then we'll bash down the towers first. And this will be even simpler, I guess. Wow, we completely missed. Okay, second volley. Completely hit. Good. We'll assume the first one was a test shot. Hmm. Two volleys per tower. Not the end of the world. Okay, we're consistent. Two volleys per tower. That's one volley. And... Oh, it's gonna be three here. There we go. Alright, three volley for that one. Now we can kind of adjust our formations even more. Right, we can kind of inch them up.
You can start firing. It's fine. Ha! Did you Most likely the spear unit's getting killed first. Yep. Uh, once they're in position... Alright. Obviously, the threats would be the range. Repeating crossbowmen, archer militia... Nothing... Oh, they have very short range. Like the Archer Militia here. Poor guys. Oh, we missed! Whiffed! Come on. There we go. For a little bit more visual in the rain. I have to say we are miss missing pretty badly. I just realized we outrange everything they have. So we can technically just go take down their units. Don't want to get charged out of the gate though, so we want to hold that up. We outrange them too, they're only 180. This one we'll just ignore, it's too far in the back to be worth it. This we can just charge in with our cavalry. Wait, why can I select both? Let's do fire. Get that burn started, get that morale damage going. And then when the fire goes out, we burn them one more time. No reason why we can't do this simultaneously. It's unbreakable now. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. He just had 100 morale. Not unbreakable. What a lie. What a tease. Sorry, Salsa. You lied to us, so you got killed. I thought I thought I had to kill you. Uh, wipe out the last two pesky D militias, and then the rest of the cavalry just go in and have their day. Now as for you. I think the generals can go in and have a party. Ah, the strategy just got knocked off the horse. Of course. Oh, there's a couple more. Alright, we'll back off a little. Alright, the spear's gone. So and so I just go roar on them. Break this clog. Alright, Once this part wraps, they can turn around. Kill the heavy tiger leopard. That's usually pretty difficult. You guys can break. Just go easy. Close it out here. Also, you guys can break. You two fools. Alright, a heavy tiger leopard is gone. Come on, wipe that out. Shouldn't take this long. Okay, that's it. This one will route very soon. Hasn't realized it lost it. Shh. 
胜利近在咫尺。Come on, don't be stubborn. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see if we can catch Tosa for a third time. Nope. But we did capture. So let's get the fondness going. I really don't care much about you. Alright, so here's where things stand. We have the clear path to get to Danyang. We also have two armies that's going to be flowing uh, east in the river. And we'll be pushing down onto Noel's faction. Um, he does have a force here, so one of those forces is planning to land early. And then the other probably want to loop all the way to uh, Wu uh, to pick that up. So we can get Danyang for ourselves. Uh, the war with Zhang Chao and Cao Cao is probably still ongoing. They'll probably keep attacking us. This, I think, will probably give away to Wang Zhu along with He Fei. We have enough governance already. As you can see, we're about to breach the 750 threshold next turn. And that will set us up for 24 uh, domain limit, which is way more than what we need. 4% replenishment, 20 satisfaction, that's really, really nice. And 20% diplomatic income from tributaries. Then 32 domain, that will take us a while. That's a thousand point exactly. So uh, we're going to have to work our way over to that. And as you can see, these never go down. So that's why it's very, very strong. And uh, we'll work our way then. We'll have to clean out this area. That's our vassal. So if we look at diplomacy, uh, our vassal network is growing. Uh, although this is a regular one, regular one, regular one. Uh, that's a corporation. That's a corporation. Oh. Uh, cooperation and uh, Liu Bei will be annexed. He's still hanging on with us. Four more turns until Zhuge Liang can first spawn. If we can see that, that's great. And this has been a rather weird campaign. Zhang Yan and Gong Sun Zan are going crazy in the north. Uh, Yuan Shao is still alive, so there's still hope. He can turn a lot of small vassals and become really strong real quick. Uh, Dong Zhuo is alive. Liu Chong is alive. Tao Ying is alive. Well, Tao Tian is dead, but like, Tao Ying's faction is still alive. Like, a lot of people are alive. Dong Zhuo being alive is really, really strange. And uh, it's very rare to see that. So maybe we get to fight him on the battlefield. So a lot of cool things coming up in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And see you all next time. Bye!